Good afternoon. Aloha. So I'm about to go do a lot of errands today. I have to go to two of my banks to change my last name because we have to do that because of my marriage. And then um, I have to go to Target because I have to return something. Today is my only day off, but it's okay. Let's get to adult tea. All right, I'm back at home, finally. Um, it took so long at the bank to change my last name, so I got all that done. I went to Target and I just, there's something about Target that makes it so relaxing when you're in the mood to relax. And I think it's because my husband, Doug, wasn't with me. So I just felt so relaxed because usually when he's with me, he follows me around while I look at clothes, makeup and stuff like that. So like, I feel pressured. You know women, what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so I'll show you what, to, what I got. Hold on, I need to take a bite of this salad that I made. Cause I'm so hungry. Mmm. Um, okay, let's do a little haul. So, I needed to get some um, makeup because it was, it's getting old. So I got more mascara. I like to use Maybelline. Maybelline's one of my favorite drugstore products, um, brands. And I usually get the Falsies mascara. I tried all of them in, in the mascara they, in Maybelline. This is my favorite one by far, so I always stick to this one. Um, I love the brush. The brush is my favorite because it's not stiff. It's flimsy. I'm um, not flimsy, but it's flexible. And um, this is my lashes, a nice effect. Um, I got more concealer. This is the first time me trying this concealer. It's the Instant Age Rewind. This is the first time I'm using this, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about this because I don't like heavy concealer, but I need it to work, do its job. But I don't like it drying because I find that some concealers are so drying because they put only underneath my eyes for my dark circles. And then kind of like when I do my brows, I kind of do it like underneath my brows for like brightening. So we'll see how this We'll see how this goes. I hope it's just not horrible. Then I got some um, eyebrow, I got my eyebrow kit from e.l.f. It's a powder and a gel. Um, I've been using it for how many years and I really like it and it's cheap. I think this is like $4. But yeah, it's my favorite one. I got, I tried all the shades and I've noticed that my brows are like literally the color of my hair which is what am I saying? That's true for everybody. Your brows are your hair. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, pregnancy brain. I'm just gonna blame it on that. But um, I got the shade, I don't even know what the shade is. The shade on here, the, it's 81303 in dark. Then I got, I got a treat yourself kind of thing. I got a mask, this is for brightening and clarifying. I really need to brighten up my face. I have like scars from all the breakouts that I'm breaking out from pregnancy and it's just, it's getting bad. Um, so I got a mask. This was $2.49. And then I got, oh my gosh, okay. I am having back acne, chest acne. This morning I had a couple pimples right here on my chest, on my shoulder. And it's because of the pregnancy and I don't usually break out on my body, only my face. So I had to get some body acne clearing something. So I got the Body Clear Body Wash by Neutrogena. I'm gonna try this out because I've been hearing good reviews on it. So I'm gonna try it. Then I got 
more. Got restocked on my makeup remover wipes. This is the only one I use. I tried a lot and this is by far the best by Neutrogena. It's so soft on my skin to take off my eye makeup and it really does take off the waterproof mascara or eyeliner, any of that. So I really like this. It's so soft on my skin. I tried um, a lot and it's so rough on my skin. No, no, no. This is the best. And then I got, I needed a brow. Um, what? Actually, I don't even know. Yeah, brow wand. So I got one of those by e.l.f. It was like $2. Then I got... Oh, I got these shorts. They kind of look like biker shorts in medium. The brand is Colsey. But I got these because you ever just need a pants where you can just slip it on and go? I literally can't fit any of my shorts. So I only have two pairs of shorts that I can fit. And I'm almost down to one because the other one I can't fit anymore. <laughs> I'm like this close to not fitting. Um, so yeah, I got these. And they're not see-through, which I don't like see-through pants. I mean, who does? But I made sure they're not see-through and they're not. So I got these. And then I got um, a camisole. And this is a pregnancy camisole, so I'm really excited for this. It's a really long one, which I've been trying to find for the longest time, and I can't find long camisoles. It's like, do, do they not sell them anymore? So I had to get this. It was kind of pricey. It was like $16.99 in the maternity brand, Isabel Maternity. So I got this because I, I just needed something to hold and like, my belly's getting big, you guys. Look at that. Got more bras because your girl don't like wire bras or regular bras. I wear sports bras and I don't even fit my sports bras anymore. So I got this jockey, um, really seamless, um, comfy bra. I think I got a medium I think I checked yes it's a medium and the thing I, what I like about these bras um, I usually get skims by Kim Kardashian her brand is amazing the quality is top-notch and I got always love their scoop neck I'm actually wearing it right now this um, it's a scoop neck bra with no padding no wire and it's so comfortable and it blends into my skin which i love um so if i'm wearing a white top you're not gonna see my bra but i got this with padding and it's not skims but you know what because i just need it now <laughs> so i got this one in black and then i got another jockey brand and i got this one in tan and i'm really digging it it's like a little different design it has like a v-neck and then in the back so like if you're wearing a razor back this would be awesome and then i got some lounge pants to launch around the house in because girl needs it i don't fit my other pants my ass is so big <laughs> so yeah that's my target haul oh. i made my salad this is what i've been craving pre-baby and even now baby this is so effing amazing and so good so this is what it looks like it has cucumbers tomato and avocado in it and then i put in some salt and pepper um i call it kanye pepper but it's con cayenne pepper um and I put olive oil, mix it all together, and bada bing, bada boom. Whoo! So oh no. I'm so in love with this. I could eat this salad every day. Mm. All day, every day. Mmm. 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 Sorry. The great thing about this salad, it's so healthy for you. It has natural fats, natural energy, has so much vitamins in it and nutrients for not only me, but also the baby. It's so good. Way much better than, than first trimester. First trimester, I was really tired. Like when I say tired, I mean exhausted. Like a pregnancy exhaustion is like another 
story. It's something you have to just be pregnant to understand. I don't feel as nauseous. Um, and the thing about this pregnancy is I feel nauseous, but I don't throw up. I've only thrown up once and th throughout this whole pregnancy so far. Um, so right now I am 16 weeks. I can't believe that. It just, I'm almost halfway there. I'm starting to feel more energized and I, I'm not so tired anymore. I do have my days where like I just want to nap, but most days I feel great. Um, I am starting to crave more foods like this salad I've been craving like times 10. And I've been getting more back acne, like I said, body acne. To be honest with you, I'm just, I'm just so excited to find out our gender of our baby. We're going to find out from the doctor, but like at our, cause I have my appointment on August 10th and that's where we do the ultrasound and then we're gonna do, we're gonna find out the gender of the baby, but we're gonna tell my doctor that we don't want to know the gender yet because we are going to do a gender reveal photo shoot not a party i don't really like the parties it's just not my thing um so we're going to do a gender reveal photo shoot so i'm so excited because like i've never done this before obviously i've done it for other people for my for my company for photography but not for myself so my favorite photographer here in Minnesota is going to be taking photos of me and my husband Doug and then um, that's when we're me and Doug are gonna find out the baby I just I feel like this is gonna be more special for me and Doug just me and him because I don't want to just find out from the doctor like hey you're having a boy you're having a girl like oh yay like it's not that special I feel like so I just finished um, working I Sorry, I'm not a light. I'm trying to pay attention to the light. But um, I just finished my photo shoot. Um, it was just one photo shoot today. And then I have some editing to do. I have to edit two photo shoots today so I can get that out to my clients by today. And then, um, I, to, and then I also have to um, Take Dougie to his photo shoot because his photo shoot starts at 2 today. It is currently 12, uh, 12 18, so it's not Aloha Kakayaka, it's actually afternoon. <laughs> so, hello! Um, late start today, but today's been, oh, this weekend's been pretty chill, but it's gonna rain today like storm. I'm talking like thunder lightning in a couple of hours so by the time I take Doug to his photo shoot in St. Paul it's gonna be storming but I actually have felt the baby um, it's really exciting because um, I have felt the baby and it's such a wonderful feeling and, and I, I don't see the physical like kicks and everything like that on my belly yet but I do feel it inside and um, I have you know researched you know what do they these feelings feel like because I do have movement in there I just don't know what if it's just gas or you know I don't know like gas so um, <laughs> I feel bubbles um, bubbles especially after I eat I feel like bubbles or I feel like a butterfly like I have butterflies in my stomach uh, which is really cute and then I feel just like I don't know I can't explain it but it's just you just know there's something moving in there so my little opihi rainbow baby is moving um, I feel it every single day I mainly feel movement from my baby probably um, like at night when I am kind of like going like getting ready to go to sleep and then in the morning um, sometimes in the middle of the night <laughs> so I'm hoping that baby is not a night owl like daddy because I'm not a night person I'm a I'm a, I'm a morning person so um, I've been feeling it after I eat especially 
So it's really exciting. So I'm just starting to feel movement, which is amazing. And um, I'm starting to eat less. Like I've, I normally eat a lot because I work out a lot. So I, I can contain a lot of food um, and a lot of calories. That's just me normal. But through baby, my appetite hasn't changed, but I have been eating less in meals like I, I have to eat little meals per day um, or every other or every day I take like maybe like five small meals a day I'm starting to forget stuff like I have pregnancy brain like no other I I forget little tiny things um, if you tell me something like an hour ago I'm not gonna remember what the heck you said like I I can't remember words like for the longest time, I couldn't remember the di the word delay. I just couldn't. So, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm watching Captain Marvel. I never really fully watch this because I always fall asleep. So, hopefully I stay up. There's something about just me and my family, especially me and my mom. We always fall asleep during movies. Like, I'm becoming my mom because all I do is watch movies and then fall asleep and then I don't even know what's going on. So, this is basically the first time I'm watching Captain Marvel because I keep falling asleep. So, movie's over and, you know, I stayed up. Woo -woo! <laughs> I'm moving on to Maleficent because who doesn't love Maleficent? If I was... A Disney character, I'm Maleficent. <laughs> Sorry, but I am. I truly am. Oh dear. Hi guys, I am home. Um, so, it hasn't been a very eventful day. My weekends are really not that eventful, but um, we did our photo shoot today. Or Doug did his photo shoot today. We, I literally came home and took a nap, and I just passed out. I'm just so tired. I wanted to tell you guys about Kylie skin because I know I mentioned on here that member that I, you know, got her products for oh my God, like two hundred dollars worth of products, which I am very surprised. Some of the stuff that I did get. I really do use and it really does work for my skin um, given the fact that I'm pregnant with the hormones I mean it's natural for you know for you to break out so I can't really judge it really good because I am breaking out because of my pregnancy but the one a couple things that I do love from her from her line is um, I love the foaming foaming scrub not foaming scrub but foaming cleanser um, so right here I like that it comes in a pump like this and I literally pump it into my hand all I need is one pump it cleans my entire face and it feels really good it's smooth it's gentle on my skin I have sensitive skin and I have oily and dry skin so combination so this really does work really well with my skin. Um, it doesn't dry it out. It doesn't make it oily. Um, but I do highly recommend this and it's really affordable. It's not expensive at all. I mean, if you were to go to a drugstore, it's the same thing. One thing, I, I don't like the toner. I mean, I, I'm really not. It's really, um, it's really moisturizing and I think it's too moisturizing on my face to the point where it's um, it makes my skin, I noticed I got little bumps on my skin when I did use this because I, I was using too much moisturizer. So this is not something I like. I haven't used it. I only use it once or twice. Placement of the toner. I do use uh, my Noxzema face pads. This I swear by. Like after I cleanse or scrub my face, I would use this to get off the excess dirt. And this acts as my toner, so I really like this right here. Okay, their face moisturizer, I've got to say, I do like the face moisturizer. It's not too much and it's not too little, if that makes any sense. I don't know, I just really like it. And, but the only thing I don't like is this pump. 
I don't like that it comes in as a pump. It really, I don't really care for it because it has gotten stuck. So yeah, I don't care for the pump, but I really like the face moisturizer. It really does moisturize my skin throughout the night and throughout the day. So I really like this. I haven't used the hydrating face mask just because I don't really know what to do with this, to be honest with you. I, it's a mask. But I don't know if it's just, yeah, I think this is just a face moisturizer, but I don't really get it because at first I thought it was a mask and then you wash it off. Apparently this is like an added moisturizer. I don't think I need this because I don't have dry skin, dry, dry skin. This will make me a little bit too oily. Um, I haven't even opened it. So. I'll keep it in the loop on this. Oh, the face scrub. Okay, so this I really do like. This face, I, the face, the walnut face scrub. This I really do love because of um, the consistency. You know how like different face scrubs, they have like, you know, like the apricot face scrub that I use for, from St. Ivy's. I usually use that but I use this in replace of this because it's it the beads inside of it is really small. I'm filming my video. Oh. Hi. The beads in this is really small. So I really like that it's really gentle on your skin. Two other things that I do really love are the eye cream and the vitamin C serum. The eye cream is really good. I really like this eye cream. I use it since I moisturize or do my skin routine in the morning and at night. I put this on at night um, and then in the morning, I don't really, I guess I can say, yeah, I do put this on in the morning too. So I really like it. As you can see, it's like a, it's a kind of like a tan color so i like that it kind of like brightens down here and moisturizes your under eye so i really do like this it really does its job and this vitamin c serum i really do like because it it just gives my skin just this nice glow i don't know what it is but it's really good for your skin vitamin c is always good for your skin for your health um, so I really do like this. I put this on actually in the morning, not two times a day, but just in the morning after I wash my face, moisturize my face, and then I put on some vitamin C serum. This really does the job. I really like it. Packaging too, because it's a pump. This is, and this is a hard bottle. So it's a really hard bottle, and then you just pump, just one pump, all I need, and it gives me just enough for like my whole entire face. There. Okay, so I got the moisturizing, hydrating lip mask. So I got this lip mask. It comes with an applicator or application, whatever you call it. And to like scoop it onto your lips and whatever. I haven't been using this to be honest with you. I mean, I don't, I don't think I would purchase this again. I don't really need it. Kind of just like Vaseline. And I usually, when I, before I go to bed and in the morning, I would put on chapstick. Um, so I usually just use that. The products that I would definitely get again is the, the cleanser. <laughs> I really can't talk pregnancy brain. The face wash um, and the moisturizer. Oh, yeah, the moisturizer I would get again, the eye cream and the vitamin C serum. I would get again and maybe the face scrub I would get again but the toner and the face mask I don't really care for but other than that I think it's really good it's really good products high quality for affordable prices so yeah, I really do recommend it I'm going to get ready for bed because I am tired it's like what almost 10 o'clock so it's my bedtime and my cat is outside my door she monitors me so I make sure I go to bed. It's really cute and she sleeps with me, so she's probably outside my door. And, oh, I got 
ahead to a bump update. I'm getting bigger by the day or by the week. It's really cute. to rub my belly. I don't know what it is, but it just feels good. If, if, and sometimes when I rub it, I feel my baby move inside me. So, yeah. I, I'm starting to like sing to it. 